Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and before we get into today's video, I just want to thank each and every one of you for um, subscribing, for being here. Um, if you're new here, please do make sure to subscribe. Yeah, let's get on with the video. I want to say first of all, if you would like to come to the University of Northampton though, don't oh my goodness and this is what today's video is going to be about like why i regret yeah i will say why i regret coming to the university of northampton okay so basically let me tell you the timeline so cool back in um 2020 because i did an extra year in college so um yeah back in 2020 i was like hmm I was very adamant about not going to university but it's like my lecturers were um telling me no like have you done your personal statement but what if you do this what if you do that like just putting ideas and thoughts into my head on top of that all of my um friends like in college like they were preparing they were browsing out all of the different universities that they would like to go to so i'm like oh my gosh now this is this is where like the regret comes in as an African, we know that like our parents, like they want you to go to uni, want you want you to excel, they want you to, you know, choose like the best courses and all of that. My parents weren't like that. My parents, they are so easygoing, they didn't necessarily force me to go to uni. They never like, you know, like threatened me or anything. They were pretty much chilled or pretty, pretty much calm. Like, if you want to go uni, go uni. If you don't, you don't. And I should have not aware so coming towards the end of my last year in college um well first of all it got cut short because of covid anyways but i thought okay do you know what fuck it let me just go like let me just go and you know get the uni the, like the uni experience so at first i wanted to go to a university in london but then i thought no if i'm gonna go to uni i might as well get the full uni experience and i was like okay cool like let me go to a uni in the midlands so I chose to go to Northampton because not gonna lie I looked at the other universities and the course that I would be doing and like you know the modules and stuff and I was like okay cool like Northampton's making sense no no like no just no before we even get into the how my course is laid out I just want to you know give you a bit of you know like context like a bit more knowledge about how Northampton is. This can be taken as Northampton slander, but quite frankly, I don't care. So, <laughs> Northampton is a very um quiet town. Is a very quiet town, and that's also one thing I wanted to mention because I'm from London. I'm used to like being like in a city i'm used to like living in a city so i'm not really used to like being in a town where it's more quiet i'm used to like you know everything being loud and you know like colorful and bright this town is the total opposite so that also um you know like was like a bit of a shock it was kind of like wow um university of northampton like the lecturers they are mm, the lecturers they are okay they are not the best they are okay um i guess it depends as well because um you have lecturers some lecturers are better than others and yeah um the people now the people and i don't know maybe it's just my course because i'm a creative like a black creative student you would i didn't i don't think that you would necessarily like expect a lot of black creatives to be on a course that i'm on which is maybe what's taken away from my experience but yeah like my course is not as diverse as i think it should be but it's not too bad at the same time and i probably would do another video about black creatives as well like black creative students and all of that later but yeah cool so um once I arrived into the University of Northampton, I was so excited, obviously, you know, like, um, I'm looking forward to living this, um, you know, like, uni lifestyle. From all of the stories that I heard from, like, my older friends back in, like, 2017, 2018, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go to uni, uni's gonna be lit. I was sadly mistaken, because that's when COVID, like, the lockdown and everything was just fresh and everything was new, so basically my whole first year in university was you could say it was taken away yeah and even if it wasn't i feel like it still would have been because 
university like in the university of northampton and northampton in general you don't really get too much nightlife and too much um like motives here and there which is a bit sad because it's like like i said when i spoke to my friends from previous years like they were telling me the exact opposite and that's what kind of you know made me even want to come here but okay cool in terms of friends and friendship um i would say and i don't know maybe it's just because of the year that i'm in like um like the group of people that i came with like to uni and everything but at the same time i think it depends on the individual person if you make the most out of uni you will make the most out of uni and if you don't then you don't so if you put yourself out there to go and meet new people you will like make friends and meet new people but then at the same time it's difficult because northampton in general is not a very like um i, I don't think northampton's a sociable place comparing it to london comparing it to birmingham i don't think northampton is so it is quite hard at the same time to um make friends do you get so yeah in my um from my experience i don't necessarily think that i've had trouble making friends like anyone that i've came across with i feel like they're pretty nice like they're pretty cool um and they're calm but with that being said i haven't met a lot of people because i haven't put myself out there and it's been like that since but first. if you are planning to come to northampton or just like any uni within the midlands make sure that like um you do like get friends like you do make friends with people because university at the same time and i'm gonna be real like university can be depressing like it can get to a point where um you know like you start to feel a bit depressed because you know maybe like a lot of um uni work like you feel like uni is not for you you feel like university is like bringing you down like there's a whole lot of reasons and literally having like a good friendship group or just like a like a friend period could really help you like it's nice to communicate with people and that's also one thing when you're in uni you shouldn't keep quiet if you know that um something's up or something's wrong even if it's not to your friend or like your housemates your flatmates speak to your lecturer speak to um i don't know like the student union that you might have at your uni like somebody will help you but the main point is to like try and like befriend people when you get to uni because they will help you when it comes to motives and parties and everything of that nature especially if you're going like you're in first year you're going into first year like make sure you enjoy but with that being said make sure you know you also do your assignments and um you know all of that essays all of that do it before you enjoy but make sure you enjoy first year because once second year hits and third year hits like shit is gonna get real like you're going to feel you're gonna basically get more work and the work's gonna you know get harder you're gonna have to focus more because yeah they say first year is not really like it doesn't really count on all of that which is true but that's why you have to enjoy in first year because once you hit second and third like it's not gonna be the same you're gonna have to focus more and you probably won't even have um you know as much time as you did in first year because that's one thing as well like in first year you have so much free time so you literally need to make the most out of it so going back to um my course um i do film tv and digital media production it's a very um creative course it is a creative course and i feel like if i hadn't have gone to uni i probably would have done an apprenticeship um obviously regarding somewhere within like film and tv and to be honest, I feel like personally that would have like made me um, go more further in as, as far as like getting like a career later on because basically I've already like immersed myself into the field where I want a career. That's why it didn't hit me even until this year. Like, no, like I probably should have done that, especially as a very practical course. It would make sense to um, dive right in, if that makes sense. But yeah, like... I don't know not to say that this course or bad anything because i have also been like learning a lot within my course and have um got many 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 opportunities from my course alone but i feel like personally if i was to like dive straight into like apprenticeships and you know um networking and communicating with people outside in like in the industry i probably it would probably help me um you know achieve my goals in terms of like my career 
um but it's okay because i'm still able to do that and even during uni i'm still able to you know do apprenticeships and take on workshops and courses to help me with my career um after uni but yeah that was sort of like my regret about coming to uni i'm not gonna lie it took me a while to figure out and that's why i said right at the beginning like don't let no like lecturer from college don't let your friends manipulate you don't let you know you like your parents if you feel like in your heart and soul that you're not fit or like you know that you know you'll be better off doing an apprenticeship or something along the lines of that go and do that instead especially if your course is very practical like mine if you're a creative like i'd say um get an apprenticeship like look into that and look into it properly me i decided last minute that i wanted to come to uni <clears throat> i still deep it to this day but yeah, yeah. Like, i think that's all for today's video um if there are more questions if you have more questions that you would like about you know university the midlands um just anything regarding uni in general let me know and i will answer them um before you leave and if you're still watching by the way make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button as well don't forget to share um and i will see you in my next video